You probably know that I love fantasy RPGs like Shadow Dark, but I'm also running a game of Weird Heroes of Public Access here soon. That's WHPA for short. Well, would you believe that there's one book that I would take with me to run either one of these games or really any RPG that I would ever run? Well, there is, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. Hi, everybody. Michael here from Night Noon Games, and today we're here to talk about Nave 2E, the book you're going to find useful no matter which RPG you're running. What is Nave 2E? It's its own self-contained old-school fantasy RPG made by Ben Milton, who you might know as Questing Beast. A lot of people enjoy playing Nave because of its streamlined mechanics, classless characters, magic systems, inventory management, and compatibility with other old-school D&D adventures. Those are all great parts of Nave that make it unique, but that's not why I'm telling you you need this book to run other RPGs. The thing that makes me lug this admittedly portable book to every game that I run are the fantastic and plentiful roll tables. Seriously, there are 82 of these bad boys crammed into just 80 pages of book. Now, how would you find this book useful in your game? Let me give you an example of how I used this in a recent game of Shadow Dark. The party was exploring this abandoned mansion, and by the grand ballroom, there was, of course, a coat room. One of my players asked if there were any coats hanging around, so I had each player roll a d6 decider to determine if they found a coat. And, well, four of them did. But what kind of coats were they? That's where Nave came in handy. At the time, I didn't know what I was looking for when I opened the book. I just knew that there would be something in there that would be useful for determining what kind of coats there were. So I could have opened to the careers table to roll a boatman, painter, knight, and singer, and that would have given the players a good idea of what their coats were like. Or I could have opened to the colors page and gotten avocado, oxblood, coral pink, and vermilion to describe the coats. But the page I just randomly opened to had the roll table for animals. I thought this was perfect. Coats are made up of animal skins all the time. So I had each player roll on this table to determine what kind of animal skin their coats were made of. The first two players rolled a 77 and an 83, so reindeer and sheep. Now those are two pretty reasonable animals to make a coat from. Then a player rolled a 97, and they ended up with a whale skin coat. I think that coat was pretty thick and probably really rubbery. And finally, and this one was my favorite, a player rolled a 100, which determined that their coat was made out of worm skin. Ew. What I love about using tables like these is how they contribute to the randomness of the game and to the story. And that just adds so much flavor into the adventure. For instance, I never in a million years would have just come up with having a worm skin coat. And I'm so glad that this is what they rolled and that's what it came out to be. It's kinky results like this one that are one of the reasons why Nave is like peanut butter to Shadow Dark's chocolate, since one of the main tenets of Shadow Dark is generative gameplay. I also use Nave for coming up with which books were in a library, populating a city block where there was a battle with buildings, determining NPC names, their relationships, their mannerisms. And of course, I love using Nave to make spells. But I think that's a pretty big topic in and of itself, and I'm going to save that for another video. If you want to make sure to see that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you'll see when it gets published. Now, I do have one piece of criticism for Nave, though, and that is there is no index of all of the tables in the book. There is this one page table of contents that's broken up into broader categories but it doesn't really give you a good idea of what all is available. However, Reddit user Icarus Avery has really saved the day and done the world a favor by creating a rolling table index for Nave. I've just printed off the list and tucked it in my book, and now I have a record of what every single roll table in the book is. All in all, I really can't speak any more highly of Nave because its roll tables are just so versatile to use with any RPG. For instance, that Weird Heroes of Public Access game I'm gonna run, I'm about to use it to roll up some really weird happenings in the town of Fairhaven so that my players group of public television access hosts have some really weird, mysterious, cult and paranormal stuff to investigate. If you want to get yourself a copy of Nave 2E, the PDF is just 20 bucks and the hardback, like this one I have, is 35 bucks. There's also a special edition for 50 bucks. Of course, links to these and to that rolling table from Reddit and to everything else can be found down in the description below. I hope you've come away from this video knowing what a valuable tool Nave is for running any RPG. Do you think you'll use it in your RPG? Do you think you'll get it and use it for your next game? Do you like using roll tables at all in your games? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. 
And of course, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like and subscribe, please. You can also sign up for my newsletter and I'll send you a free Shadow Dark adventure. So until our next adventure, stay inspired and keep those dice rolling. Thanks for watching.